Thank you, Ralph, for your introduction and for your outstanding work as MP for Regina, Wiscana, and as Minister of Public Safety and Emergency Preparedness. It's always great to be welcomed back to Saskatchewan. It's, we've had a, uh, a busy couple of days, but it's been uh, tremendous, as always, to be by your side. It's great to be back in Regina and to be here at the Subsurface Geological Laboratory alongside Minister Goodell and DEEP's CEO, Kirsten Marcia. I hosted a town hall at the University of Regina last night, and today I had a chance to talk about the importance of water management with some local experts and community leaders. And I'm glad that this morning as well, I get the opportunity to talk about some really exciting news for the people of this province. In Saskatchewan, when you talk about drilling, most people think of oil, and rightly so. But deep earth energy production is mining another resource, geothermal power. And that's why we're here. Today, I'm proud to announce that the federal government is investing $25.6 million for phase two of DEEP's geothermal plant. In effect, we're supporting DEEP as they mine natural heat to generate clean, renewable energy that will help power Saskatchewan's homes and businesses. Once their proposed facility is done, the electricity produced will be able to power 5,000 homes, all the while taking the yearly pollution of 7,400 cars out of the atmosphere. And if all of that sounds cutting edge, well, that's because it is. Deep's plant will be Canada's first ever geothermal power plant. When the federal government contributed $1.5 million to test and launch this project, we knew it would be just the start of some incredible work being done right here in Saskatchewan. So let's take a moment to recognize the fantastic team at DEEP and especially Kirsten Marstia, a clean energy trailblazer and an outstanding leader. Thank you. Thank you. Today's investment is another step forward as we do our part to make sure that Canada and this province stays at the cutting edge. Because here in Regina, a city that's growing quickly both in terms of population and economic development, you can see firsthand why it's so important to invest in infrastructure that can keep up with Canadians. We need innovative solutions to power people's lives. That means investing in sustainable growth that's good for communities. This project is expected to create 100 jobs during construction, providing more people with good, good employment and opportunities. And as we support local businesses innovating for the future, we're always mindful of how we can grow the economy while also protecting the environment. By investing in this specific project, we're helping to develop a system that will produce clean, renewable energy to help power the province. Whether we're supporting sustainable infrastructure or putting a price on the pollution that causes climate change while returning all of the money collected back to Canadians, our government is committed to doing our part to build a better future for everyone. Mes amis, ce n'est qu'une partie de notre plan qui vise à faire une vraie différence dans la vie des gens partout au pays. Quand nous avions été élus, nous avons promis de renforcer les communautés où les Canadiens sont chez eux. Grâce à des investissements sans précédent dans les infrastructures, nous aidons à faire de nos villes, petites et grandes, des endroits meilleurs pour les années à venir. Since November 2015, we have announced over 244 projects in Saskatchewan worth, worth, worth more than $331 million in federal infrastructure funding. And as we move forward with our long-term infrastructure plan, we will continue to build the strong, inclusive, and sustainable communities that Canadians deserve. By working together, we will ensure that Saskatchewan remains a terrific place to live, whether you're building your career, furthering your education, or raising your family. Once again, it's a tremendous pleasure to be back in Regina today to celebrate an important investment in the future of Saskatchewan. 